In this on-page SEO tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a Chrome and Firefox extension called SEO Minion to do an SEO audit on individual pages on your site. It works really well. It's not a very complicated plugin, but what it does, it does really well, and it helps you dial in your on-page SEO. And I'm going to show you how it all works starting right now. This little extension of Google Chrome and Firefox is called SEO Minion. It's created by the people who created Keywords Everywhere. I've got a tutorial for Keywords Everywhere linked to in the card up above and the description down below. If you're looking for keywords easily and quickly, it's a great tool to check out and it's free. SEO Minion is also free. It's this little guy. If it doesn't have the DSC overlaid on his face, it's like a little orange robot. If you click on him or her, it could be a her robot. There it is right there. So these are the options you have in this free little plugin. The most important ones, actually they're all pretty important, so we'll go through all of them. So analyze on-page SEO is the first one. So let's click on that. And then we have analysis of our on-page SEO. Our URL, this will give you a warning if it's too long. Here's a warning that our title is too long. We should shorten it down to 60 characters. Ours is currently 72. There is no description, so it wants one. If there's no description here, Google and search engines will just pull random text from your page, which is not the best for your click-through rates because you want to customize the description that gets people curious and wanting to click on the link to view the post. So that's why descriptions are important. Most SEO plugins allow you to add descriptions to posts while you're creating them. Canonical is if this URL is targeting the same or similar keyword as a different page, you can have the other page be the canonical, meaning that all the credit is given to the other page and this page is kind of ignored as far as search engines go. The page is still usable for you for visitors and it's all normal. It's just that you don't want to cannibalize your keywords by using the same keywords a lot, but you might want to create a slight variation of a blog post so you make one of them canonical and the other not. And the canonical one is the main one. Here's a list of our headings. You want to make sure you have an H1 and you want to make sure you have one H1. That's the ideal. Search engines are able to understand more than one H1 these days, but you want to have just one because that is one of the most important SEO factors is your H1 and making sure your keywords are in there, making sure if a visitor reads it, it makes sense and it's clear and they understand what the blog post is about. That's what you want to do in your H1. So H1 is super important as well as the title and the slug in the URL, the last part of the URL. Those are the three most important on-page SEO factors. So make sure those are dialed in. Like I said, only one H1. You can have as many H2s as you want, as many H3s, as many H4 through H6 as you want, but only one H1. Here it shows, or here it says we have nine images. Images without alt text, there are five. Click on this to show what they are. The first one's a Gravatar. Hard to get alt text for that. You have to edit the template files. Same with these, Gravatar, Avatar, Images. And this one is a, a plugin I have installed. So all of these images are not actually images in the post because if we scroll down, there aren't any. There's just a video and some code. So there's no images actually in the post. So all this references images inside of the template, which are hard to add alt text to, but it's possible. Here we have open graph information. It's basically the same as up above. It pulls in just the, for the description, just content from the page because we don't have a description to find. And the open graph information is important for social sharing. And the Twitter graph information is important for sharing to Twitter. And that's what we have for this on-page SEO analysis. It's pretty basic, but then again, on-page SEO is pretty basic. It's not that complicated. Just want to make sure you hit all the right buttons, which this highlights or this draws to your attention which buttons you've missed on. We can highlight all links on the page. And this highlights all links, including if you're logged into WordPress, you have your admin bar up here. It will highlight those as well. So if you click on all, it shows all the links on the page highlighted. Internal shows all the internals. External shows all the externals. And you want to make sure you have a couple external links to authority sources on every post. So this link goes to CodePen, which is a very popular website, likely an authority website. And so it's important you link out to places like that because that shows Google and search engines that you're not an island. You're willing to share, you're willing to give credit, you're willing to help your users by giving them more resources to work with. And this one is actually a plugin. If you click on this, there's a slide out that shows the latest content that's been published. So this is technically an external link. This is being pulled in from a place called Beamer, 
but it's not actually linking off the page. So you might have false positives like that for externals. Broken link check, you want to make sure all your links are valid and not broken. You can see they're light green when they're not checked, and they go dark green when they are checked. And it shows a list of links that you have on your page. Valid, four fours, you want to fix those right away. I have linked to a tutorial somewhere in the card or the description down below to help you fix your four fours using the Screaming Frog SEO tool. No domain links, meaning there's no domain in the actual URL, so it's a, so it's a relative link instead of an absolute link, which is, it's okay on your website, but it's not the best. You wanna make absolute links, which means it's the entire, this is the entire absolute link, but on your website, you are able to get away with just having this as your link, and then the browser will autofill the rest, and that's not great. That's a no domain link. An empty link is having an A tag with no link in it, a redirect is a redirect, server error is a server error, and unknown is uh, unknown, could be, could be anything. And here it gives you a list of all the possible link problems. And that's how you check the broken links on there. SERP preview is pretty interesting. So if we type in, let's say, hello world and search, it brings up Google, and this is our search result right here. We don't actually rank for this keyword, it's just popping us in there to see what our search result would look like. And here's why the title being too long is not great because you have this dot, dot, dot for the rest. In my case, I have all the important stuff there. The rest is actually just my website name. So if I delete this, it updates in real time right over here to show us what the preview looks like. If I change the description, it adds it in right down below. It'll keep going until it runs out of space. Like Wikipedia down here ran out of space, and they have the ellipse added in, the three dots, to show there's more, but there's not enough space for it in the search results. You can change your URL slug. If I change it on the right here, it will change in the actual preview. It doesn't change it on your live page, just in the preview. So you can customize your description and your title and your link, and you can see a visual result. If you add a date, April Fool's Day, 2019 is when this was published. If you have dates enabled, rich snippets, review of this, awesome. And like I said, as we're typing in, all these things appear over here and we can customize our search snippet to appear how we like it to. And again, the most important things are the title, the URL, the second part of the URL, the slug, and the description being something formatted in some way, created in some way that people actually want to click it. You don't want to bore them. People are not bored into clicking a search result. They want to solve a problem. They want to be entertained. They need that search result or you need that search result to be entertaining or solving a problem or somehow curiosity generating that makes someone want to go and click it and view the content on your page. Very last thing SGO Minion does at the moment, they could add more features as they go is the Google Search Location Simulator. It's pretty interesting. I can't think of a whole lot of uses for it, but it's still interesting to see. So what it does is on one side of the screen, we're gonna see search results from the search engine we pick here or the location we pick here. The other side is gonna be a different location. So right now we have preset United States and the United Kingdom. So if we type in hello world, click on execute search, we see those two side by side, and we can see the differences in those search results. So in Google US, the highlight box at the top here is pulling in from what is .techtarget.com. In the UK, this highlight box is coming from Wikipedia. There's a people may ask box in the UK. There isn't one in the US. As you scroll, they try to stay matched up, so they can kind of jump in around a bit. We have video blocks, both video blocks. Are, they're in different spots, but they're both there. And you ha end up having different search results depending where you're searching from in the world. Everybody knows that happens. So I'm not sure the, the value of having this in here, but maybe if you know it, you can leave a comment down below, let everybody else know the great value and great benefit it is of being able to do this. Or if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. And that's all I want to show you for SEO Minion. If you like this kind of material, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And with that, dial in your on-page SEO with the free SEO Minion Chrome and Firefox extension.